lift app is an amazing piece of technology. In today's video, I'm going to share with you five lesser known features of the lift app, which I use every single day. And stick around because at the end of the video, I'm going to share with you the one feature which I use every single day and I love it. Hey everybody, it is Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy, and today we're going to talk about the Lyft app. I recently wrote an article for The Rideshare Guy, which I featured seven, seven features, but in this video I'm just going to focus on five, so let's jump right in. The first feature is called Ride Screening. So sometimes you don't want to take a long ride, sometimes you don't want to take a short ride. So what you can do is before you pick up the passenger, you can check and see where's the destination. So what I want to do now is we'll go to the screen and I'm going to show you how you do that. So in the first screenshot, you can see uh, I'm about uh, a block, a half a block away from picking up a passenger named Sunil. So what I do then is I tap on arrive where it says arrive for Sunil. That takes us to the second screen and this is what happens if you're a little too far away if you're not like right on top of the passenger uh, Lyft is gonna ask you you know uh, to drive closer but what you can do instead is just tap on arrive anyway when you tap on arrive anyway that takes us to the third screen where it says why didn't you go to the pickup spot just really quickly click other reason and that will take you to the fourth and final screen where it says now pick up Sunil and what you want to do is then tap where the three dots are and that's going to show you the address. And once you've seen the address, then you know where you're going. But you don't always know where you're going because sometimes you don't recognize the address and that takes us to our second feature. Feature number two is called squeezing in on the map. So again, let's look at some screenshots here. So in this example, uh, I was picking up a passenger named Brad. I already screened the ride and now I'm at the, this screen where it shows the address and the drop-off is on California Street, but there are a lot of California streets, so I don't know if I've got the right one. So what I do then is I squeeze. So I, I, I put my two fingers on the map and I squeeze, and basically what I am doing is I'm zooming out so that I get a bigger picture. And that takes us to our next uh, image where we see that I can see where Brad is and I can see where the destination is, and in fact it is in San Francisco. And then if I want to go back to the original screen, I just tap on that little kind of like little arrow thing uh, kind of to the right towards the bottom. And that takes me right back to my same screen that I had before. So this way I can uh, combine this where I can, I can screen the ride and then I can double check to make sure that the location that I'm taking that passenger to is in the area that I want to go. The third feature is canceling a passenger in a lift line. So the other day I got picked up at the airport from uh, and, and the, the driver uh, was driving me away. I did a shared and he got a ping as we were leaving the airport. And he looked a little frustrated because he knew he would have to drive like eight minutes to 10 minutes just to get back to the airport for not much benefit to himself. So I said, well, you know, you can cancel just that one passenger. This was an experienced driver. He'd been driving for three years, he told me. I said, yeah, 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 you can. Let me show you how. So let's take a look at the screenshots. So what we see here is uh, I had a, a, a lift shared with three passengers, okay? And then what I did is I tapped on the three dots, and that will take us to the second screen, which is called the ride overview. And you'll notice where it says pick up Kristen, there's an X. There's also an X by pick up Jason. Those are the two that I haven't picked up yet. For either one of those, I could touch that X, which would then take me to the next screen, which says cancel Kristen's ride. And I would just hit cancel anyway, and boom, I am then uh, still, doing the, still doing the lift shared, but Kristen has been taken off the list. I could also take Jason off the list. This is very useful, for example, if you have one passenger who's got a lot of luggage and you don't have any room left in your car, you go into the airport and you get a ping and you know you can't pick that person up because there's no room. So what are you supposed to do? Well, you can keep driving and eventually the passenger after five or 10 minutes is gonna realize you're not gonna come by and they'll cancel on you. 
or you can just cancel the ride which is a benefit to the passenger that's waiting because now they know they're going to start getting a, a different uh, car and you can just go on your way so this is a super valuable tool tip number four is saying thank you for a tip and you can do that in the lyft app and in order to show you how to do this we're going to, i'm going to actually show you uh, on my phone all right so here we are on the lyft homepage. you click down here at the bottom the dollar sign and it takes you to the page that has uh, rides that you've completed recently so you can see right here i've got a, a ride where uh, someone left me a three dollar tip so i'm going to tap there that takes me to the ride i scroll down and it says rate passengers i'm going to click on that and here i can leave a comment now I'm going to use a text replacement short code, TYT. I hit done, and there it says, thank you for the tip. It's very generous. I am grateful. And I hit submit, and now my passenger, Jim, just got a really nice message for me, and I expressed my gratitude. So now the fifth and final feature is called text replacement, which is something you can do on an iPhone. I don't, I'm sure you can do it on an Android, but I don't know how to do it on an Android, but I will show you how to do it on an iPhone. And uh, I'm gonna do that by showing you right on my phone. So let's this next feature works on an iPhone. You tap on settings, and then you go to general. And in general, you go to keyboard. At keyboard, you see where it says text replacement. So here's where you can uh, hit the plus sign and you can put in a phrase and then you can put in the shortcut. So you can see for me, I've got um, TYT right here, TYT and it's thank you for the tip, the one I just showed you. So then you would just hit save and boom, you've got it. And then anytime you want, you can just type TYT or whatever, whatever short phrase you want and it will show you all of that text. It's really useful and I use this all the time. That's an awesome feature. Now, what are my key takeaways? Well, key takeaways are this Lyft app is amazing. It uh, does so many things for us. And in this video, I shared with you just a few features that I use a lot that are very, very helpful. Uh, I showed you how to uh, screen a ride, how to squeeze in so that you can see exactly where, where your next ride is going and you can decide if you want it or not. I showed you how to cancel a, a passenger in a lift shared and then lastly i showed you how you could be grateful and express some gratitude for a big tip and then how you can use on your iphone text replacement to make that so simple and so fast that you can do it a lot and really brighten up your passenger's day and express some gratitude and ideally if you believe in karma some gratitude will come back to you so everybody it's jay crater thanks for watching if you like the video by all means give it a thumbs up and uh, if you haven't subscribed yet to our YouTube channel, the Rideshare Guy YouTube channel, be sure and subscribe. Uh, we give you everything you need to know so you can make more money in less time and a lot of industry news and, and features and benefits and all, all kinds of great stuff. Join our team. Y'all go ahead and have a great day and be safe out there. Bye for now.